Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of Tasha and Erica's Milestone Celebration Hop. And I have a very colorful project to share with you. I'm gonna be starting with the layered rose leaves dye. All of my products are Simon Says Stamp from their latest Dream Big release. So this is actually one big dye, but it cuts four different leaves. And whenever I get in a slump, I go to the solid color cardstock bin and I pulled out an array. Most of this is Concord 9th. I might have put in a little bit of paper tray ink, but a lot of people always ask, how do you come up with your colors? Well, for example, the Concord 9th, I usually refer to their website and they have it in the most glorious rainbow order. And, and then again, paper tray ink, they also have it in rainbow order. And I, I just, you know what? I refer to those and, and I use, I use those references. Okay, so I, you can see that I cut a lighter shade of the leaf and then I cut a darker shade and I'm going to glue it, glue the little halvesy on the lighter shade. So I put a bead of glue right along the center and then I just pop on the darker shade of pink. So every leaf is kind of two-toned, lighter shade, darker shade. And I'm using Barely Arts glue. It's my favorite. I love the precision needle tip so you can get the finest little bead of glue. It never clogs. Trust me, listen, I've been around the glue block, so to speak, and this one here, I can confidently say it does not clog. Okay, so this is Grapefruit and Sorbet cardstock by Concord Knight. Now these two, uh, I believe that is Summer Sunrise by Paper Tree Ink, and then a little Marmalade by Concord Knight. So sometimes you do a little mix and match. And um, this is lemon tart. Sometimes I know the color, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I remember why I walk in the room. Other times I can't remember if I brush my teeth today. You know, so that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Here's the thing. You wanna hear something where I'm at? I, whenever I leave the house, I always complain that my phone doesn't work. I always say my phone doesn't work. I always complain. Finally, uh, my son, Charlie, he grabbed my phone. He's like, mom, for Pete's sake, your cellular data is turned off. How long has it been turned off? That's why your phone doesn't work when you leave the house, mom. <laughs> and that is where I'm at, okay? Hanging on by a thread. But I'll tell you what I can do. I can glue some leaves together. And as you can see, I glue it right in the center. And when that dries, I'll be able to lift the outer edge up and zhuzh it. You'll see, we're gonna zhuzh. Now I have a panel of white cardstock here. I put a little bit of foam tape on the back of all these leaves to pop them up because dimension is life. And you know, I didn't press real hard because sometimes you change your mind and you gotta lift it up and you gotta reposition. And that happens. You just go with the flow. Trying to fit in all of these colors start to run out of room. And now we're gonna do the big old cropping off the excess. I like to use my paper trimmer. A lot of people prefer to this, use the scissors for this. Do whatever tickles your fancy. I just love the paper trimmer, especially the guillotine. Cuts it sharp, makes you look like you mean business. Now, have I thought of a sentiment for this card? Absolutely, I have not. Uh, but what I say at this point, you could make this card anything. You wanna make a birthday? Wanna make a thank, thank you? Wanna make a thinking of you, miss you, hugs? Anything will go. I really think anything will go. But what I'm doing right now, is what I consider one of the most important parts of my day, and that's to zhuzh it up. I'm lifting those halvesy leaves up and kind of manipulating them, giving them a little air. It just really makes this whole thing come to life. Will it get flattened in the envelope? Probably, but hey, it's entertainment in the video, and also it brings me joy, and that's really all that matters. Okay, so for the sentiment, didn't know what to add, I decided to pull out this new set. It's on the horizon. And I've, I've actually used this thinking of you sentiment a couple of times. I consider that to be a staple. I love the classic, no nonsense, all caps, you know, like it doesn't compete. It doesn't take up too much room. It's not too big, not too small. Listen, when I, I rummage through my sentiments like a mad woman trying to find the right size, the right font, so I did this one in white, embossing it in white onto some black cardstock. Then I'm gonna trim this out. 
Yes, I have two different sizes of guillotine trimmers. This one is great. Uh, it's very sharp. And it's great for cutting out little sentiment strips and little things like that. But it doesn't have the measurements wide enough for larger projects. So I popped up that sentiment right in the center. No embellishments needed because those zhuzhed up leaves are giving me life. And I'm thinking of you today. Make sure and check out the rest of Tasha and Erica's Milestone Celebration Hop. You can subscribe to their channel and leave comments for your chance to win some amazing prizes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.